Look at this question. It says s raised to the power 2 minus y raised to the power 2 is equal to 24. And xy is equal to 35. We should find x and y. Okay? So what we're going to do now, we're going to call the first one equation 1. The second one, call it equation 2. What we need to do first, let's, from this equation 2, find y. So y is equal to 35 over x. So let's substitute this into equation 1. That is to say, s square minus 35 over x raised to the power 2 is equal to 24. You agree with me, this is minus 35 multiplied by 35. That is 1225 all over s square equals to 24. So let's multiply throughout by s square. That is to say, this multiplied by s square minus this multiplied by s square, 24 multiplied by s square. This will give us s raised to the power 4 minus this and this will strike out to have this equals to 24 s square. Okay? With this now, let's rearrange this by bringing this to the left hand side. That is s raised to the power 4 minus 24 s raised to the power 2 minus 1, 2, 2, 5 equals to 0. So the next thing we need to do now is to convert this to quadratic equation by saying let u be equals to s raised to power 2. Therefore, here alone will be s raised to power 2, 24, s this. Therefore, u can take the place of this, s raised to power 2, u equals to 0. Okay? If we factorize this, we're going to have u minus 49, u plus 25 equals to 0. So you agree with me, therefore, u now is equals to 49 or u is equals to minus 25. Okay? What is u before? u is s raised to the power 2 equals to 49 or s raised to the power 2 equals to minus 25. Okay, then to get x, x equals to plus and minus square root of 49 or x equals to plus and minus square root of minus 25. You agree with me that this will give us this as 7 or x equals to plus and minus 5 i. This i is the imaginary unit because this is negative. Okay? So with this information we have now, let's go back and look at what was SY. Let's go back. SY is equal to 35. SY is equal to 35. So to have Y now, I can say Y is equal to 35 over X, which is equal to, for the first one, 35 over plus or minus 7, which will give you 2 result that is plus or minus 35 over 7 equals to plus or minus 5. So y therefore is equals to plus or minus 5. Okay? We don't need to substitute this to get y because what? Of the complex what number. Therefore we can conclude that when x is equals to 7, that is plus 7, y is equals to plus 5. And when s is equal to minus 7, y is equal to minus 5. This is the solution. Okay? So you can see, we started from here. Using simultaneous equation, we got this. So you can see, everything is well explained. 
please subscribe to my channel for more video updates thank you